In this video, we are going to build a chat with your image application using Elava and Replicate. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced programmer, I'm going to explain every step in detail to deliver the information. For those looking for a quick and easy way to create an awesome user interface for web apps, the Streamlit library is a solid option. Let's try it out. Upload your image and then you can ask the AI questions about the image. For example, you could ask, what is this image about? Las Lava will then respond to your question with a text answer. At the moment, according to YouTube Analytics, 81 of you who are watching this on YouTube have not yet hit the subscribe button. So if you're, for example, in the now 94 of the people who are watching this on YouTube, but who are not subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you could do so and would be awesome to get that number down to 50. And it would be cool to get like 50, 50 sub, non sub ratio, just, just for fun. What is LL Lava? Play El Ava, Large Language and Vision Assistant, is an open source large multimodal model, LMM, that combines a pre trained Clip by TL14 visual encoder and a large language model, LMS Vicuna, using a simple projection matrix for general purpose visual and language understanding. It was developed by Microsoft Research and released in September 2023. Lavi represents the first end-to-end -end trained LMM to achieve impressive chat capabilities, mimicking the spirits of the multimodal GPT-4. It is also a cost-efficient approach to building general-purpose multimodal assistance. Key features of LLAVA multimodal instruction. Generation LLAVA uses a language-only model to generate language image instruction pairs, making it easier to follow instructions in the multimodal domain. Fine-tuning capabilities. LLAVA can be fine-tuned on specific tasks such as science question answering to enhance its performance in domain-specific applications. Large language and vision model. LLAVA combines a vision encoder with a powerful language model, allowing it to understand and generate content in both visual and textual formats. What is Replicate? Replicate is an alternative way to host the models on a cloud platform and use the LLM via API calls. Which models are available for us to use? We're going to use Lava 1.5 models, Lava 13B. Ready to get started? Get a Replicate API token. Here's how you can get your Replicate API token. Visit the Replicate website, go to the API tokens page and copy your API token. Then we will set up the coding environment. You want to start by creating a VenV on your local machine. First, open your terminal and create a virtual environment, then activate it. You should see VenV in the terminal now. Now, let's install the required dependencies. Let's start to build an app. You can easily set the title of the app shown on the browser using the page title parameter. When developing the chatbot app, divide the elements as follows. Put the app title and creates a drop down select box. It has one option, Lava 13B. You can add more model if you want. Use if else statements in the sidebar to handle different case checks if the selected model is Lava 13B. If it is, it sets the variable LLM to a model. Create a temperature to control the randomness of the output. Minimum value of 0.01, maximum value of 5.0, default value of 0.1, max out length, which controls the maximum length of the generated text. Let's add a file uploader for images. When the line executed is a streamlit app, it will display a file upload button that users can click to open their file browser and select a file to upload. Then we create the LLM response generation function, the generate lava response. Function is a custom function that helps the LLM language model respond to users prompts or messages. It maintains a history of the conversation to understand the context better. When you give a prompt, it adds it to the conversation history and then it uses this history to call the LLM model to generate a response. The model thinks about the conversation history and produces a new message as a reply. This way, it tries to understand the conversation and give a meaningful and relevant response. Then we're going to add display and clear chat messages. The code creates a place to store chat messages in a variable called messages. It displays the chat messages one by one on the screen using Streamlit Saint chat message function. 
The code also adds a button labeled Clear Chat History in the sidebar. When the button is clicked, the chat history is cleared. Then we're going to create prompt input. In simpler terms, there's a chat input box where the user can type a message. Whatever the user types will be added to the list of previous messages in the chat session. This way, the conversation history keeps growing with each message the user sends. Let's generate a new LLM response. If the last message in the chat wasn't from the assistant, the assistant will generate a new response. And if so, to generate a new message from the assistants, show a spinner while thinking and then display the message incrementally as it's being typed out. After the message is fully generated, it's added to the conversation history. Let's wrap up congratulations. That is all it takes to make a Lava chatbot using Streamlit and Replicate. The next steps depend on your imagination and creativity for better performance of the chatbot. Drop a comment to share what you are working on and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Stay tuned to this series because I'm pretty sure there's a lot more to come. Happy experimenting! I will leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily access them. It's a great read and it'll give you a lot more understanding as to how they basically accomplish this. So with that thought, I genuinely hope you found it informative and valuable. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content like this. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. If you have any questions or thoughts, drop them in the comments below. I always love hearing from you. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.